What's up everyone? This is your podcast host Nishant bringing trending news from across the world to your home. Today's episode is about the recent Northern California and USA earthquake that occurred on 20th December 2022. Northern California, situated on the west coast of United States of America, is known to be an earthquake prone area. A violent earthquake of magnitude 6.4 shook the Northern Californian coastline, causing widespread damage to property, infrastructure, roads, loss of power in many counties and injuring many humans as reported. The earthquake occurred around 2:34 a.m. on a Tuesday morning with the epicenter, the point on the surface of the earth directly above the focus of the earthquake, reported to be just offshore of the Humboldt County in California. At least 13 aftershocks were reported within 45 minutes after the initial quake in and around the area. Earthquakes are measured using an instrument named seismograph which measures the seismic waves traveling through the earth after an earthquake strikes. Earthquakes can occur at any time, sometimes even underwater in the oceans, which if strong enough can trigger tsunamis, which are seismic sea waves. The magnitude of an earthquake is measured using the Richter scale. The scale has ranges for magnitude and corresponding classification as follows. If the magnitude is between 3 to 3.9, it is classified as minor and may be felt. Case if the magnitude is between 4 and 4.9, it is classified as light and lightly felt. Case if the magnitude is between 5 and 5.9, it is classified as moderate accompanying some minor damage. Case if the magnitude is between 6 and 6.9 which happens 100 to 150 times per year it is classified as strong yielding high damage example the current northern californian earthquake case if the magnitude is between 7 to 7.9 which occurs 10 to 20 times per year it is classified as major yielding widespread damage for example the 2001 butch earthquake in gujarat came with a magnitude of 7.7 causing more than 20000 fatalities if the magnitude is 9 and higher it yields total destruction for example in 2004 the indian ocean earthquake and tsunami in indonesia came with a magnitude of 9.3 harming over 220000 people and affecting several nearby countries including indonesia sri lanka india maldives thailand and reaching as far as east africa Recently also a smaller 3.6 magnitude earthquake occurred in the San Francisco just 270 miles apart from the current Humboldt County. Northern Californian region is frequently hit by earthquakes since it is located in the vicinity of the San Andreas fault. The well-known San Andreas fault is like a fracture, a continental transformation formed over 30 million years ago is a place where the Pacific plate and the North American plates meet. and known to be a region for high seismic activity finally what to do if stuck in an earthquake there are three steps to take to be safe during an earthquake drop cover and hold on drop down on hands and knees before the quake knocks you cover your head with a table or a desk like a shelter to prevent hurt from falling objects hold on tightly to the shelter or your head and neck until the shaking stops to prevent being displaced additionally listen to radio or your phone for updates and instructions when earthquakes do occur in the west coast of usa the warning system is triggered and alerts are sent to the residents of the affected regions almost immediately so that they can take the necessary precautions what not to do in case of an earthquake do not run outside especially near trees or tall buildings do not stay close to flammable objects Do not start driving a car or a bike. In conclusion, with little or no warning, the earth can produce powerful energy by plate tectonics. Plate tectonics is what shaped the earth to be what it is today. This natural disaster is just a display of the earth's violent but astounding power. We people, the residents of the earth, were, are, and will be at the mercy of this process. To learn more about earthquakes check out USGS which is the United States Geological Survey website which researches monitors earthquakes and has a ton of resources for learning about the science of earthquakes Thank you for listening I hope you enjoyed I'll see you in the next episode